Good evening everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Faye and this is Faye with Floss, a YouTube channel all about cross stitch, creativity and just a lot of fun and chit chat really. So um, what have I been up to this week? Not a great deal and I did only see you last Thursday when I finished my blanket. I did a bit of a rushed video last week I think because um, when I finished recording it the sound didn't work very well on it and it kept jumping hopefully this won't do it this week but the sound kept jumping so I couldn't put my intro on um, and I didn't want to record another 30 minutes all over again so I uploaded it in a bit of a hurry I didn't even put a title on the video um, I realised um, a couple of days ago when I was just flicking through so I will rectify that so um, sorry if it appeared a bit rambled and rushed last week it was because um, I hadn't really got round to sorting it out and doing a few things but here I am um, back again so yeah um, it was only Thursday and after all that knitting I did on the blanket um, I'll be honest I've had a bit of a break from any kind of handicrafty needly stitchy um, nitty things um, however I am back into it now um, I think it is good to take that break it is good to um, my fingers were quite achy after doing all that knitting just because it was continuous and I just didn't want to add to that strain on them um, so I have been doing a bit of painting as well which I will share with you and um, let's just get stuck in really so it's not a great I always say I've not got a lot to say then I end up with a 30 minute video um I think it must be a bit short this week because I haven't got any haul or anything really so let's just see what I've got um so um after a couple of days of rest for my fingers I decided I just wanted something really simple to stitch really easy and um with this Mary Hicknuts vintage magazine there came a little daffodil kit and even though it is not March anymore it's still nice to stitch a daffodil so I just spent a few hours on that and oh it's out of focus and it's really nice little stitch actually um as you can see it's from well you can't see maybe it's from about 1996 this magazine and I decided to stick with all the original things and not change anything. Uh, if you can look at the top, that is an absolutely massive rust mark from the needle. So the needle I could not use. Um, I didn't save it. I should have saved it to show you. Well, it was disgusting. I just needed to get it out of the fabric and get it in the bin. I, I was a bit scared I might catch something from it. It was horrible. Um, so I used a, a new needle. But all the threads were the originals and the fabric was the original, the Ada was the original as well. So I've got a little daffodil. Um, I am going to stick it into a journal, I think. I'm going to get my cross stitch journal started. But um, I would like to put a little quote on top of it about daffodils, but not the um, usual a host of golden daffodils. I feel like that is overused. Um, so if you've got any nice little... Um, quotes about daffodils or springtime then put them in the comments below and I'll see if there's any that I fancy using to attach to this um, and that'd be nice then because I've got lots of scrapbooky plans and stitching scrapbook is one of those plans as well I think it'd be really nice to do some mixed media including things that I've stitched myself um, so that's my first little make and that kind of just got me warmed up again and last night, when I was um, fishing about my stitching bags, I found a little blast from the past. Now, if you've watched any of my very, very early videos, I was planning on making this as a birthday card for my mum last year. In the end, I sent her a different card. I think it had a mouse. Yeah, it did. It had a little mouse in a hammock on. And I put this down and just never really picked it back up again it got shoved to the bottom of the pile and then I found it the other day and realized that all the white is just a filler now so um I don't know if you can see that one I think you can so that is where I got to 
and I've just started filling the white bits in on the wing. When I finish this wing, then I can move on to the rest of the body of the swan. But it was really nice just to find something that I could pull out and just get started on straight away as well. So I'm going to keep working on this this week and see if I get a finish. I mean, I could send it to be mum for a birthday this year, but I have got other ideas as well for that, so I might not. Um, so that was my stitching this week. I think I put a few extra stitches into my barrel cook as well, so not many. When I say I put a few stitches, I probably mean about 20. It might not even be worth showing you this, but as, as it's here, yeah, it really was about 20 stitches. Um, but now it's out, I might as well show you. So this is the barrel cook piece that I've started. Um, so I absolutely love barrel cook artwork. So this I'm going to be working on a fair bit. And yeah, there's about 20 more stitches from last week. So I've started doing the golden bits, started filling in that little um, circle. So I might finish that off later tonight and um, carry on when I can. So yeah, that was my stitching, which I've done no knitting this week, no needle felting, no embroidery. Yeah, I want to start an embroidery. So this is painting now, and I haven't got, I haven't done much this weekend, I must admit. But I think that's good, it's healthy to have a break and have a breather. So I decided to choose another Skillshare um, course, because I did a couple last week. I did, um, I'll show you again my colourful squares which I really really enjoyed doing and um, that was a great deal of fun. I'm going to do another page of squares at some point and then I was having a little scroll through Skillshare and I found this really really gorgeous class where she teaches you how to paint ballet dancing cats. I mean who doesn't need a ballet dancing cat? So this is what I came up with. Um, it's hard work to get all the proportions right, but I think I did okay with her in the end. Um, be mindful that I am not an artist. I have never really used paints until the age of 36. So this is all still quite new to me, but I'm enjoying myself so much with it. Um, I've just been out and bought another go ash for my collection today. Um, I've had a bit of a shop this weekend, but nothing excited enough to show you. Just a couple of um, pens here and there and paints here and there. So, yeah, no haul, unfortunately. There should be some coming because it was payday yesterday and I've ordered a load of stuff, but nothing has arrived yet. And let me show you my palette. How, how colourful is my palette at the moment? It's like so excitingly colourful um which I like I'm feeling very colourful at the moment I just want to do all the colourful things so that was my very short video however what I can share with you is mania plans so for those of you that are new to the stitching community mania was invented invented was created a few years back and the original meaning of mania is to do a new start every day. I think it was, or as many new starts as you can. Now that doesn't enthrall me at all. That just makes me think that my house is going to get filled with more and more unfinished projects. I'm trying to keep down. Um, I'm not, it, I need more than one thing on the go, but I don't need too many things on the go. And at the moment, I feel like I've got too many things on the go. So I do need to start finishing things before I start anything new. So Lindy Stitches does something called Stitch Senior. And what Stitch Senior is, is you stitch on one thing throughout the week and then at weekends you can treat yourself to a new start. So for me, um, I'm, I'm only going to do one new start. But I've made a little um, mind map here of my mania 2021 is very rough i mean i just scribbled this up before so 
Before I stitch saying here, the piece I'm going to be working on throughout the week is Lindy Stitch's Funky Menagerie. Um, I thought it seemed appropriate to use one of hers for um, Stitch Senior. And I'm very behind with Funky Menagerie. It was a sell, it was a four month sell. I thought I could manage a four month sell, but I can't manage sales. I'm just not a sell person at all. So um, I thought with Funky Menagerie, I could target myself to do like one animal a day or something and try and get that finished in the month of May. And then I have got a finish. Um, and then it's something I can cross off my whip list as well. And then my other plans, my one new start is the Emma Congdon. I call it a baby sampler because it's going to be for a baby, but it isn't necessarily a baby sampler per se. Um, it's from her new earth book. I can't remember what it's called, the earth book. It's from her new book and it's got all sea creatures in it. If I start it next week, then I'll be showing you. Um, if so, if you don't want to look it up, then I will be starting it at some point. And then for me, mania is kind of like a bit spring clean as well. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get some of these jobs done, which I've still not done for ages. I've got so much stash to sort and to organise. So I've got two organisational tasks on here and they are to print out all the patterns and file them um, because I've just got so many patterns sitting in emails and stuff and I've not got around to, um, to printing them or I print them and I just put slip them in magazines and then I never see them again. So I do just need to print them out and file them and have them ready to go. I mean, I'm paying for these charts and then I'm just never using them. So I need to stop buying them and actually just start filing them and getting them ready and prepared. Um, sort out my DMC threads. So I mentioned a couple of videos ago that I really messed up my spreadsheet because it wasn't saving and um, because Google Drive went a bit crazy. So I do need to commit a couple of hours to actually sitting down with all my threads and going through my spreadsheet and seeing where I'm up to. And then I can treat myself and order some more. Um, I am still aiming to get the whole set of DMCs Hopefully this year, it'd be quite nice if I get them all by the end of the year. Because um, I really like them for embroidery as well. So that is my organisational plans. And then my finishing plans, I need to bead up drive through because it's just sitting there and I've not done it yet. So um, I think the finishing plans will be like weekend plans. Um, so drive through is going to get done. And then hopefully I'll be able to get another frame for it to match the one that Stitchy Gem put my lovely fabric shop in and then put them both up together. And then I would also like to FFO2 projects. I've got quite a few things just kind of sitting in bags now waiting to be done. So it's about time I actually got them out and got them done. So yeah, um, those mania plans will probably expand, change. I've got other things I might need to do, but hopefully there will be a lot more stitching in mania. Um, I have to say though, I am in the middle of a dissertation at the moment. That is why I've set myself Funky Menagerie as a little goal, so I can stitch a little bit of something every night. And it's not like a massive, it's not like I'm going to say I'm going to finish a haid or something. Um, it really is something that I can just aim to do one animal a night, keep going at it. Um, because I do have a lot of work, a lot of writing, a lot of reading to do at the same time and I can't fall behind with that to be honest and of course um, I've got lots of different arty projects to do as well um, so embroidery I want to start I've got needle felting to do so I'm going to gradually start working through all my little things that I'm planning to do and um, get a little bit more organized I think um, I'm at a stage now where I want to start all the things but when you do you don't always end up finishing them and they just end up sitting in boxes or you get distracted or life gets in the way. So yeah, hopefully this week I should be moving forward a little bit with things. So um, that is, I think, most of the stuff I need to share with you this week. Um, I'll give a, I'm going to give a shout out to a new flush tuber I came across a couple of weeks ago now, but I so useless last week i didn't give any shout outs so crafty rogue oh god no rogue game stitcher um i'll put a name in the comments below um, i've just started watching her videos and she's she does some really cool things 
she's doing this gaming cell at the moment with like all the different characters from all the different um video games like retro ones and i think it moves into modern ones as well um so do give her a watch um stitchy gem my friend stitchy gem um give her a watch as well um who else have i been watching see i'm still i've not had a lot of time to watch any flash tube to be honest that is about as much as i've been watching but hopefully oh i just watched rebel stitchers new video tonight and she has done an amazing finish on her mardi gras tree so go and check that out that is really really good as well um and i have got a little watch now um what's it not watch now a watch later list of some other people that i do want to be watching so hopefully this week i might get a bit of time to watch some i am away this weekend um my first adventure out of london for a while so i'm going to take some stitching with me um and some arty crafty things as well I'm sure, i don't know what i'll get done but i'll definitely share with you next week so it probably won't be a monday video again next week it'll be a tuesday video and then eventually hopefully i can shunt my way back into the monday slot um but it's always going to hopefully be a monday or a tuesday um it's just life can be chaotic i know that they tell youtubers to like schedule the same time every week so you don't disappoint people but my life cannot be scheduled um i've got i've got so many different things to do all the time so yeah that are my that that are my plans those are my plans um that is all i really have to share i'm gonna be creative again this week do some art stitching i've got a new knitting project um that i am going to order some yarn for it's a bit of a challenge um i'm going to need a lot of help and love and support to get me through but i'm well up for the challenge um so when i get the yarn i'll be able to share that with you and i think that is all for this week very short video not a lot to share but i've got a lot of love for you as i always do thank you for coming back if you keep coming back to me wondering how little i have done what on earth i have done what i've been up to thank you for those who have watched for the first time today all i can do is promise you a little bit more content next time um so please like this video if you did leave me comments down below let me know um what you'd like to see me do during mania if there's any other ideas you've got um share your mania plans with me um and yeah please subscribe as well if you fancy watching me chat every week about crafts um i know it i was contemplating the other day it doesn't feel so much like a floss tube sometimes my videos because i do do a lot of multi-crafting as well um so for those of you that are still sticking with me even though i don't share so much cross stitch anymore and other i share other arty endeavors instead then thank you for sticking with me also um i don't know i don't know whether to just change the name of my channel from flush tube to creative catch up or something i don't know if that would make a bit more sense really now because it isn't just cross stitch um let me know your thoughts on that as well or do i just stick with flush tube for the time being um even though i guess people who are looking for a proper flush tube might be a bit disappointed I've got no idea and I've just rambled for a while um about my thought that's just me thinking out loud really so just let me know in your comments below what you like about these videos um what you'd like me to show um if you'd like me to change the name at all um I'm open to all comments and with that have a super week make sure you find some time to create however hectic you are look just 20 minutes just 10 minutes get some stitches in feel like you've done something busy times ahead but also sunny times ahead which is nice as well so keep smiling keep stitching keep crafting keep creating and i shall see you next week have a good one bye